In Nuendo, setting up your virtual instruments is an absolute breeze. No other digital audio workstation software offers you the ease of integration that Nuendo offers when it comes to virtual instruments. In this tutorial, we'll take a close look at how to call up your VST instruments and integrate them within a new or existing project. The first step in using a VST instrument is to create it within the VST instrument rack. You'll find this rack in the main device menu. You can also press F11 on your keyboard to bring it up. In this rack window, you have 64 slots in which you can call up VST instruments. Of course, the limit of how many instruments you can use is really determined by the speed of your computer. However, it's good to know that Nuendo is ready to grow as systems become faster and faster. Once VST instruments are created, Nuendo will automatically create the mixer channels and track channels that go with them. Last is simply setting up a MIDI track to control and sequence the virtual instrument. Let's take a closer look at how all these components actually work together. Setting up VST instruments is fairly simple. Only two steps and you're ready to rock. First, click on an empty slot and your list of available VST instrument plugins will appear. You simply choose one of the instruments and the instrument and all the components are created for you. You also have your standard plugin power button and bypass button, as well as an edit button to call up the instrument's user interface. You also have the new freeze option, which helps you manage the CPU resources used by virtual instruments. We'll take a closer look at this cool new feature later in this topic. Second is to create a MIDI track. Once created, you want this MIDI track to send data to the instrument. So if you go to the output section, you'll see the VST instrument appear within the available choices. Once selected, you can monitor arm the track and begin playing the instrument with your keyboard controller or other MIDI controller. While you're playing, you can select presets using the preset selection window found in the VST rack or within the plugin interface. If your keyboard controller supports sending program changes, well, you can use that as well to change presets. If you have a large list to choose from and you need to find something specific, you can type in the filter search field at the top to filter through just to the preset name you're looking for. If the plugin does not support this feature, then you are usually able to select them from within the instrument. If you choose to no longer use a particular instrument, then simply choose none and Nuendo automatically removes the instrument and its corresponding mixer channels. You will also notice that Nuendo creates track channels in the project arrangement editor for the instruments. These channels are used to display and edit any automation data that is created for the instrument. Some instruments may not support using the Nuendo automation system. In this case, these channels will not be used and can be hidden or moved out of the way. If the instrument doesn't support Nuendo's automation system, then you can usually automate it using standard MIDI controller CC data that can be created on the MIDI track. Now that you have this ability to call up powerful real-time virtual instruments that send sound directly into the VST mixer, then you also have the ability to apply real-time effects plugins to the instrument channels. Just as many hardware synthesizers and samplers come with powerful built-in effects processors, you can also create expressive and unique effect chains for your virtual instruments simply by using the channel insert slots on the instrument channel. Any plugin that is available to you can be used. So everything from classic reverbs and delays, the hybrid rhythm filter boxes, and distortion mangling devices can be used to add flavor and character to your instrument sounds. For example, I've got a nice fat analog lead from G Media's Oddity Synth plugin. but I want to give it some more punch and power to it. Well, if you remember from our previous mixing topic, you can save mixer channel settings. So I've already got a folder on my drive that contains some mixer channel settings with various effects chains for me to use for processing my instruments. Here I'll load the space filter gate preset. Once it's loaded, I instantly get a different sound. If we look at the channel inserts, you can see I have several plugins set up to create this unique effect. If you don't have any presets and you want to start from scratch, then it's as simple as just clicking on a slot and choosing a new plugin. So as you can see, 
Nuendo's virtual instrument environment can rival even some of the most powerful hardware synths and samplers on the market. Because of the real-time nature of the mixing engine and the instruments, you have access to literally thousands of different VST instrument sounds. Add to this the ability to process them in ways not even possible using traditional hardware effects, and you can see that the ability to create and write music all within the computer has become an extremely powerful tool for just about any type of production work.